Hello, welcome to this webinar. My name is Rebecca Barber. I'm one of the librarians here at the Australian National University um, and I'm one of the subject librarians for the College of Arts and Social Sciences and this session will be showing you how to find um, online information through the library site page. So first of all um, I'd like to talk about how you access the library's resources when you're off campus. So you need to log in using your student number and your password. It's the same one that you use to get into Wattle or into um, ISIS. And when you access the library's resources, if you click on the link to an ebook or to an e-journal, you'll be prompted to log in if you're off campus. Um, and this will authenticate you as an ANU student and you can access our resources. Now, if you're having problems with this logon or with your password or your student number, you can contact the ANU IT uh, service desk and they can reset your passwords and fix any problems that you might be having. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you now, I'll show you where to go to get help with that. Um, so. Here we go, here's the ANU's homepage. I'm sure you've seen this before, um, anu.edu.au. If you click on this services link here and then click on information technology, there's a link here for help and support. And if you're having problems with your login, um, with your password, you can click on that link and you can email the service desk or you can give them a call and they can help you um, with your password, with your U number to get access to the library's resources. Okay, so I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to the library's homepage now and there's a link here up the top in the banner to the library. If you click on that it takes you to our homepage. Now if you want to, you can log in to um, the library's resources now before you start searching. To do that you go to find and access here at the top and then e-resources and databases and then down at the bottom of the screen is a little paragraph about off-campus access. If you click on the link here it takes you to a login screen and you can log in now um, so that when you go to open e-books e and e-journals you should already be logged in. So it doesn't have a login here on my screen because I'm on campus and I'm already automatically logged in. Um, but when you go here from off campus, there'll be a login screen and you can put in your U number and your password uh, and then you'll be authenticated as an ANU student and you'll be able to access all our online resources. Okay, so I'm just going to hop back. Uh, to the library's homepage now. So the first thing I'll show you is how to search for your textbooks. So we have a lot of textbooks as ebooks now. If you find that your textbook is not available as an ebook, you can get in touch with your lecturer and they will get in touch with me um, and we'll do our best um, to see what we can do to get it as an ebook or make some of it available online for you. So I'm going to do a search in the catalogue. So here's where you can search for your textbooks. Um, you just put in the name of the textbook if you know what it's called or you can put in the author. So I'm going to put in Museums in Motion. An introduction to the history. So if the more you the more of the title that you put into that catalogue search, um, the better your results will be. So here we go. We can see that there's three results and the first one is the book that I'm looking for. You can see that it's an internet resource. So that means this one is an ebook. Um, so if I click on the title of it, it will open up um, and it give you more information about the book. And there's also a link to access it online. So I'm going to open this one in a new tab but you don't have to, you can just click on it. And this gives you information about the book, you can read it online or you can scroll down and go to particular chapters if there's a chapter that you need to read in particular. 
Um, I recommend reading them online rather than downloading the ebooks. So downloading can be a bit tricky to set up and there's no real advantage to downloading ebooks. Um, these in this case it's just a loan so you'll only be able to download it for seven days uh, and then you won't have access to it anymore you'd have to download it again so my recommendation is don't worry about downloading just read it online or if you want to you can download some of the pages or one of the chapters um, if that's going to be useful for you so that's how you find and access your textbooks and I'm just going to hop back to the library's homepage or to the, the catalog and I'm going to show you how to find your course readings so sometimes lecturers make more readings available than just the textbook if you click on new search here and then click on course reserve you can search by your lecturer's name or the course name to find other readings that there might be in the library for you so I'm going to do a search for Millicent Weber, so I'm doing Weber Millicent, so she's one of the lecturers here in CAS and you can see here's the details of the course that she's teaching and here are some of the readings that she's made available through the library for her students. Um, so you can search by your lecturer's name or your course name and you can also search by your course code if you want to as well. So if I put in SOCY2040, um, the course code will also find the courses as well. And you can see here's all the readings um, for classical social theory. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is our subject guides. Um, so I'm going to go back to the library's homepage by clicking on library up in the banner. And I'm going to scroll down the page. Um, and under library information is this link to the subject guides. So if I click on that, the first link, which is arts and social sciences, are where all the guides are that support CAS subjects. So you can see there's a lot of them here. So you go to the one that's for your subject area and go in and have a look. And in these guides, um, all kinds of different information sources that you can access to get you started um, with researching your assignment topics. So we're going to hop into the anthropology guide and have a quick look. So all the guides are organised um, in a fairly similar way. They all have these tabs down the left hand side with different kinds of information sources that you can use to write your assignments. So first up there's reference sources. So that includes things like dictionaries, handbooks and encyclopedias. So these are a good place to start with a topic because they give you definitions, they give you the background of a topic, they tell you how the topic has developed over time, who the important researchers in the field are, um, and they're a good place to sort of get that background understanding of the key concepts of a topic. So they're worth looking at. There's also a tab for books, so there's tips for searching the catalogue. Um, there's some subject headings that you can click on. So if you're interested in personality and culture, for instance, you can click on that link and it will show you all the books that we have with that subject. There's also a databases tab. So in this case, the databases are big online collections of journal articles, conference papers, newspaper articles, um, theses, all kinds of things. With anthropology, there's also um, primary sources, so people's field notes and things like that. So these are the main databases that support anthropology. Under journal articles is some tips for searching super search and we're going to look at that a little bit later um, to find journal articles and also some top ranked anthropology journals that you can browse as well. There's also links to audio visual resources. So um, there's a database of anthropology videos and there's also tips for how to find anthropology videos in the library. Research methodologies, so if you're researching in this area, it will give you um, resources to help you do that. Open educational resources, uh, things that are freely available online, things like lecture notes, textbooks, 
um, course readings, etc. So you can have a look at different anthropology resources that are freely available online. There's also a link for finding theses, um, for requesting resources. So if there is something that you need um, that the library doesn't have access to, you can use these options to try and get access to them. There's also links about anthropology at the ANU and the last one is a contact us page where you can get in touch if you need any help. Alrighty, I'm going to go back to the library's homepage now and I'm going to quickly show you how to use Super Search to find online resources. So we're going to do a search for language acquisition in infants. So if you need to find information resources to do your assignment, to write your essays, you can search in SuperSearch. It's um, the search box searches all of our databases. It searches the catalog. It searches our online repository or research repository. So there's a lot of information in SuperSearch. You can see we've found 139,000 results. That's a lot. So we're going to narrow that down a little bit now. So while you're off campus, you might want to click on this full text online uh, limiter and that means that all the results here will be available online and you can access them from wherever you are. So that's a useful limiter. You can also narrow it down by content type. So if you're only interested in journal articles or theses or books, um, you can click these links. If I click on the book link, because I've got full text online, um, also ticked, it means that everything here will be an ebook, and that can be a useful way to find ebooks as well. So I'm going to untick that for now. Um, you can also limit it by the publication date. So if you've been told by your lecturer only look use information sources from the last five or ten years, you can put the date range in here, and then you'll only get the most recent resources. Okay. Um, I'm going to click on journal articles now so that everything in here uh, will be a journal article. You can read the abstract or see more information by clicking on preview. Um, it shows you more about the article so you can see here is the abstract for this article so it's like a summary and you'll be able to tell by reading the summary uh, if it's going to be useful for your assignment or not. If you decide it is going to be useful you can click on the full text online link here or you can click on the title of the article and then it will open it in the database where that article uh, is housed. So this one's opened in our Science Direct database it's given us the full text here um, and you can also download the PDF if you want to and then you can save a copy of this article on your computer. It's also given you some recommended other articles in this database so you might like to have a look at those. Okay, so that's a very brief introduction about how to find online resources through the library. Um, if you need any help, if you have any questions at all, please do get in touch with with us. Um, if I go back to the library's homepage and click on about, there's a link here that says for contacts and feedback. If you click on that, you've got some email addresses up here you can use to get in touch with us. There's a, a phone number here if you want to give us a call and we'll do our very best to help you with um, whatever troll problem you might be having or to help you find other information. So here are the two contacts for the arts and social sciences. So I'm the top here, Rebecca Barber, and my colleague Jackie Kempton is the other contact for the College of Arts and Social Sciences. So you can see our areas of expertise here. Um, so whatever you're studying, whether it's Jackie or I, you can send us an email or give us a call and we'll do our very best to help you with it, whatever problems that you might be having. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful and if you have any questions, please do get in touch with us. Okay, thank you.